Hi everybody, today is, let me check, it is Friday, April 27th. And so I spent this week talking a lot about decision making and decision making when you don't have all of the information that you need, when you have to make a best guess, best guess based on a bit of information that you do have. And then you have to make a decision and this decision will have repercussions just as every decision does, whether good or bad, uh, there, there's always there's a side effect to it. And in this case, we were talking about decisions that had been made in the past and, and sort of in the context of making decisions in the future and trying to get more data to make better decisions. And as part of that, it came up a decision that was made a couple years ago, about six years ago. And at the time with the information that we had, it was absolutely the right decision. I think everybody in the room agreed that that decision at that time with the information they had was the right decision. But as sometimes happens after the fact, people come in and tell you that was the wrong decision because the next day you have more information, you know exactly what happened. And that decision is so much easier because you know what happened and you can make that decision. You can Monday morning quarterback all you want and say, that was right, that was wrong. You should have done this, you should have done that. And uh, you wasted a lot of time and money. And But it, it was a really powerful lesson in making a decision based on the information that you have and making it and owning it. And even when it is the wrong decision, knowing that you did the right thing. And one of the analogies that we had for this was one of the members of the group had to make the airport for like a six o'clock flight or four it doesn't matter what whatever and so the person who's teaching was talking about how early do they have to leave for the airport like not quite lives depended on it but somebody's career would depend on if he made it to the airport on time and he was going to LaGuardia airport which if you don't know is um, what has been referred to as a third world nation in the past and it's currently under construction so it's kind of like a third world, third world nation after a bombing is kind of what LaGuardia Airport is kind of like these days and if you've been through there you you've probably experienced a glimpse of that even if it wasn't a bad day at LaGuardia but if you have had a bad day at LaGuardia and you've had to uh, get out of your taxi and walk your bags to the terminal from the highway, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, anyway, this employee had to get to the airport. Um, the person who was, instruct was facilitating this conversation was saying, you know, my job depends on him getting there. You know, I get a bad rating if he doesn't get there. How much time do you give him to get to the airport? And when you go in terms of that, like, LaGuardia Airport, you know, if you said six hours, like that probably wouldn't have been like a totally off the wall scenario to, to have said six hours and that, even though it was like really extreme. I mean, most people were guesstimating about four hours for this particular commute and making the flight and stuff. So, but it, it really sort of helps you distinguish between what's that reasonable, like four hours being reasonable, but after that, you know, you the longer of a period you allow, how reasonable is it? You know, like if you said 12 hours, like, you know, that's really safe. You know, 99.9999% he's making that flight, but is that reasonable? Not, not really. So it, it was this really powerful lesson and I, I'm glad I had it because it really changed my thinking on decision making a bit. And so I kind of wanted to share that little story and about LaGuardia Airport in case you don't know. But um, remember, when you make a decision, you make a decision based on the best data you have at the time that you make it and then own it. People are going to second guess you after, even if it was the right decision, they're going to tell you about how they would have done it and how you should have done it and all this stuff. Uh, but you know what? Do your best at the time and be at peace with that. Whatever happens, happens after that. And don't let the naysayers tell you it was wrong or how to do it better. Just 
do it. And then if there's a lesson to be learned, learn your lesson so that you make an even better decision the next time. But know that you made the best decision you could at that time. Thanks and have a good night.